What's going on everybody? Game Hunter channel, a new episode Let's Play Star Wars Command of Empire. We're still playing the sickness. Um unfortunately I have been a really, really busy weekend, so I haven't been able to move ahead in the campaign. But let's get into action. I think we are in mission number seventeen and we only have fifteen hours left. So let's see if we can do as much as we can. Say destroy half of the base, wah wah wah. Let's get into action. Seventeen. The Cygnus. So far, so good. I mean, I mean, the only thing that I don't like is the campaign. The time to uh, achieve the campaign is so reduced. I mean, I, I wish they give you more, more time. But well, what are we gonna do? Uh, okay, I'm gonna put the AT, AT veteran in here. That's gonna give me some extra firepower. It's only one generator, uh, shield generator, so it should be okay. Uh, let me see if I can probably start attacking from here. I'm gonna put one little troop there, another little troop there. Let's see. I'm hoping this guy can bring down those. Uh, that's exactly what I want. Bring down those uh, mortars because those are the most complicated uh, defense buildings that I can that I need to deal with. So I'm using a lot of infantry units, right? But uh, let's see, we're gonna continue deploying a bunch of stormtroopers all over the place. The idea is to diversify our uh, the location of our troops. And we, should, we should be fine. I haven't seen any infected yet. This is good. Uh, and I'm gonna use as many attack fighters as I need. And uh, we're gonna need to finish this campaign like uh, today. <laughs> we don't really have much time. So I'm gonna deploy it. No, I'm, I'm not gonna play anything else, probably. Let me see is something else hiding in one of the corners. No, nope. that should do it. That was a really easy mission. Really easy mission. Cool. Okay, so that was fast. We are taking on a lot of effective bases, partner. I don't think I should understand what this is dealing with here. When we get back, I want some answers. Oh, dude. Zappo, relax, dude. Relax. We don't even know what's going on in here. All right, 250 points more. And let's see if we can continue with this campaign on time. Let me start building my new hero. ATAT -AT veteran. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. What else? Let me see how many things I got. Oh, I got almost everything ready. Good. <laughs> That's the whole idea. Try to get these guys rolling. As soon as possible. Some snipers I'm gonna need soon. A sniper is really useful. I know I gotta res I receive a bunch of messages from you fellas uh, saying that the last couple of missions are really tough. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it, it looks like the having level seven units and having sniper, having the proof drones probably uh, are gonna help you a lot. But uh, give it a shot. Continue fighting, man. Do not give up, my friends. All right, this is defense, mission 18. Let's do this. Let's do this. Because uh, they're telling me a whole story about the dead trooper. What is going on here? I have no idea, dude. Can you just let these guys come? Oh, large group? Oh, no bueno. No bueno. At least I have a bunch of those. Uh, ooh. Those are the worst, man. The, the heavy stone troopers are just the worst. But I recommend you to probably wait until they're all together. Once they're all together, you can just put one of those uh, VTs in the middle and do a lot of damage. Then we're gonna put another one in here. Hopefully we'll be able to bring down the rest of the, well, at least a decent group. Whoa, 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 they're coming from here too. Wow, they're coming from everywhere. What the hell, man? Jesus Christ, we're under attack. We are under attack, bit. Oh well, the, the base is holding fine. Oh my God, this is gonna be beautiful. Let me see how many dead guys I got here. <laughs> and here's another one. Should be good to bring down. Oh, I missed for an inch. That's fine. At least I have a shield generator in here, just holding it. Um, so we should be okay. Just a couple of heavy dead troopers in there is coming from the south, but. Besides that, the, the base is fine. God damn, freaking dead troopers, man. They, they destroy a big chunk of my resources buildings. Pretty much every single one. 
All right, come on, come on, just bring down that guy. I know this. The 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 probably you guys know this also that the uh, mortar doesn't it doesn't doesn't do enough damage. I mean, like in the, in the past, remember, you used to kill infantry units like in one shot. No, now it's a, it's a little bit tougher. So, just be careful if your base is only mortars. I know that a lot of people like to have a like a massive of um, mortars bases. I mean, just mortar defensive buildings. But that that's not recommended now. I will probably suggest you to try some uh, rocket launchers. As far as I know, they increase the range uh, and they decrease also the damage of the rocket turret. Okay? So, alright, that was good. Good mission. The gosh, it's a real Slimo. Let's go to the Endora and see. Oh, come on, we're gonna get into the Endora. We're fighting here. Why do we need to go back there? We don't even care, man. Jesus Christ. 250 more. Nice. Um, and the troops are ready. That's probably the best. It would be nice if they, in all these campaigns, every three um, attack missions, you have one defense build uh, mission. That that would be cool. That would be cool. That way they give you they give you enough time to to regenerate your troops, and you can continue playing. Otherwise, it's a kind of like a pain in the butt. But still, we we're doing okay. So uh, let's get into this one. This is uh, ooh, not even four thousand. It's not too bad, I guess. Uh, destroy half the base. Mission 19. And how many are the total? 26. I think we're going to need to play 26 like a thousand times. But uh, I think I'm going to do exactly what I did the last time. I record like a two episode of the last of the last base. And yes. then I just decide to continue playing on my own. Until I get close. Once that I'm close, I'm going to start recording again. But anyway. We are coordinates of several locations which might be the source of the dead troopers. We presume these forces are hostile. So use any force necessary. Do we always use the force? Okay, so I, I, I'm still not sure what you mean with that. If it's necessary, right? Alright, how are we going to attack this base? Let's start analyzing this. Let's get tactical. Um, most of the dead troopers are coming for the, the, the infected buildings. And especially for the infected alliance building. So we gotta be careful with that. Two of these um, shield generators are not good for me, so I'm, I'm I have to deploy the ATST. Unfortunately, this one. I mean, not unfortunately. I have to. So let's get into action. We're gonna start attacking from here, so that way the ATST is gonna bring down the first shield. Once that the first shield is down, we can continue moving. Yeah, it's not too bad. We can start from the from the top. Oh, dude, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, my friend. That wasn't the intention. Oh my god, here comes the here comes the trouble. Now I need this guy to bring down the the shield generator as soon as possible. I'm gonna deploy a Tie Fighter. Crap. Those guys are tough, man. I start deploying a couple more. There you go. Yes. Between the um, between the 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 ATST, we were able to bring down most of those stormtroopers in in the middle. Almost most of those dead heavy troopers. I know the ATST is gonna bring down the second shield. We should be okay. I think we're fine. It's not like we can bring down this way. Oh crap. I over deploy one unit. It wasn't too bad. I mean, the first uh, deployment of uh, the TIE fighter, I think it was crucial to bring down the big, big group of uh, infected troopers, or dead troopers, or whatever you want to call it. So, not too bad. Okay, that was, that was again, was quite easy. And I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> I really want to have. My VT. Well, but because I know when I use it. That's the funny part. I, I, you usually, besides the Tie Fighter, Tie Bomber, the other ones are cool, but it's difficult that you're gonna actually use them in fight. You always have a limited amount of the commissions that you can have, right? Yes, so most of the time, I have my bombers and Tie Fighters in there. Uh, 
maybe I can start building or upgrading my tie defender because of the extra damage to defensive building but I don't think I'm gonna be carrying this BT anywhere the decimator anywhere no I don't think so but well what are we gonna do uh, I think we are almost okay no no not yet I have a bunch of uh like I said my first priority right now is to let's get a couple of those repair droids so we can keep moving repair droids yes snipers are really useful I'm gonna keep building snipers um, if you're having problems I think with this campaign I think a good idea is to uh, don't deploy all the units at the same time that's probably one of the advice I can tell you if you notice once that you uh, start approaching to the affected buildings yeah. all the uh, the heavy death troopers are start coming out from the Alliance building or from any of the other buildings or the command center headquarters whatever so that one, once that those guys are going in that direction of that troop then you can probably deploy a bunch of speeder bikes behind them and start attacking them um, that will save you some time okay so I would recommend to try something like that with speed bikes looks always look for the ambush technique okay just put a couple baits in there just a couple of units that you know they're gonna die doesn't matter um, this is especially if you have snipers because I believe with sniper everything is a lot lot simpler so but like I said we're gonna be doing that we're gonna check if that is possible actually in the last mission I'm gonna try to play the last mission without sniper and with snipers and we'll see the difference okay yes, I try to come up with every every single possibility okay you know what this is almost ready so we're gonna play one more mission yes I have sniper bunch of I would love to have more duck troopers but whatever it is it is um what am I supposed to do hold on a second Okay, this bill is getting back. Oh, I decided in case you haven't noticed, I decided to make a path across my base. Um, yeah, I remember some of you guys post something in the commentary section. That is something that actually I was planning to do. I just to be quite honest, in the last couple of weeks, I've been so busy with so many projects that I didn't have a chance to play much of the Star Wars Commander with the Empire. Uh, besides the campaign, remember we did the the chapter 10 and now doing the sickness but um, basically I uh, decide to make two holds because that allowed to move my, my troops can move freely uh, for example in the squad center all right if somebody is attacking me and the enemy is in the area of effect of the squad center that like a white radio she has probably seen the screen uh, any enemy who gets into that area is gonna uh, alert the reinforcement in the squad center and the squad center uh, reinforcement I'm gonna go and try to attack that guy but what happened if the, build, the the wall is complete they won't be able to get out of your base so you need to have a way for them to get out of there okay another reason is because sometimes units get a little bit stupid when there are holes in the wall they try to go and use those holes to get into the base instead of making a hole in the wall okay so I make this hole on purpose in here and of course I got a big group of turrets in there defending it so if, if some of the Wookiees that try to go for my turrets I decide to come uh, to my base and using that entrance well they're gonna have to deal with those turrets and if they come from the other side I got my alliance squad center and some other mortars so we'll see we'll see I mean and always try new things I think is the key of success in any any game so um, I have some other games that I want to start playing I'm gonna tell you that later we're gonna try to finish for the sickness I haven't been able to finish that with the rebels either but I don't know we, we'll figure it out this is the last mission we're gonna do in this episode 4,000 points not too bad campaign mission number 20 here we go. I don't even know if I had the correct troops, but <laughs> who cares? Let's get into action. That's part of the fun. Ooh, ooh, more children raiders. That definitely is something that I don't enjoy. 
Ara param. Let me analyze this base. All right, what we're gonna do is the following: we're gonna plug, plug these guys in there. We're gonna plug the ATST, ATAT, path run. We're gonna put the sniper behind. A couple of stormtroopers, and here comes the what I was telling you about the ambush. See, once that all the 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 dead troopers decide to start attacking the ATAT bathroom. Well, I have the repair droids doing some good, good work repairing the the hero. And in the meantime, I have the speeder bikes in the back just destroying them. So that's a really interesting technique that you can try in this uh, campaign. It's gonna probably help you a lot. Speeder bikes are moving okay. Yes. I'll probably deploy something else. I want to deploy my. Uh, I'm assuming my ATAT veteran should be capable to bring down everything. My sniper helped me a lot also to bring down the rest of the the troopers. And I have a, my speeder bikes. The only problem is that they, they can die easily against those uh, turrets. Just hoping that I'm gonna be smart. Let me see if I can deploy a couple of turrets in there. I mean. Stormtroopers, they're level 7s, they're, they're capable to bring down buildings without any problems. But the rocket turrets are deadly in the speed of bike, so that's why you need to be careful. I'm gonna pull a couple more, just wanna make sure we get this done. I don't wanna do it again! Let me see, any holes, any extra base that I'm missing? No. I think we're gonna have an R3 star in this mission 20. We're getting close, we're getting close, I like it, I like it. Really, really, really close. Nice. Cool. So we were able to move a couple extra missions. Um, hopefully we'll be able to continue and try to finish this sickness campaign. This is the Game Hunter channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay? Take care, everybody.